You see these amazing trees, how they are looking? They are looking so nice because they are trimmed on a regular basis. They are taken care of uh, constantly. Um, imagine somebody said, you know, these trees will, this, this um, tea leaves will just stay um, however they want to stay. Uh, then it will be a pretty bad scene to look at. But because they are trimmed, on a regular basis, they give it water on a regular basis, they make sure the trees get the right fertilizer on a regular basis, they get, you know, plugged um, in a regular time. That's why they look so beautiful, right? And this tea, later on that you drink in a cup of coffee with your wife at home, um, they are there right now in this manner is because they are trimmed on a regular basis. Make sense? Now, here's the point. Here's the point about public speaking and what you can learn from a tea garden. What you can learn from a tea garden is just like the tree plants are trimmed, you have to be trimmed. You have to be sharpened. You have to train, drill and rehearse and improve yourself. Just like your hair, man. Many people take better care of their hair than they do for their skills. So people often say, you know, I've been, I, I have a lot of experience, um, but I have a lot of stage fear. And I totally understand that and I respect somebody who says that openly. And I don't judge them. But here's the thing, it's happening. That stage fear is happening because you're not trimming yourself. You're not updating yourself. You're not cutting yourself. You're not sharpening yourself. You're not polishing yourself, you're not refining yourself, you're not filtering yourself. Many times people don't get the right promotion at the right time, they have to wait while others get the right promotion because they are trimming themselves, but this person is not. So, if you want to incur, I, if you want to have that financial freedom for yourself, for your family, if you want to send your children to the best school, if you want to afford that kind of thing, if you want to... Buy the best for your family. If you want to contribute to the society, if you want to turn your yearly income into your monthly income, then you have to learn this lesson from the tea garden and improve yourself. For that you need a mentor. For that you need a group of people, a community that can hold you accountable. Because as I often say, one of the human needs is the need of being of a part of something big it's a it's a sense of belonging you know we feel so lonely many times because we don't have the right team around us we have a team in the office but they don't care about their success they care about getting the job done and going back to office but when you have a right team around you when you have people who challenge you motivate you a community like a mastermind you improve yourself on a regular basis, you invest in yourself. That's when you sharpen your social media, for example. That's when you sharpen your, um, your health. I just did a meditation and I encourage my mastermind members all the time to meditate every day to have more peaceful mind. But it can only happen when you're hanging out with the right people. Because when you hang out with the right people, that's when you look amazing in a group so who are you hanging out with and are they challenging you to improve are they challenging you to invest in yourself are they challenging you to invest more time to improve yourself are they challenging you to become better are they challenging you to improve yourself so that you can have a better outcome in your life are they challenging you are they talking about financial freedom or are they talking about Rocky Savant are they talking about health or are they talking about Malika Sherawat? See, one, the talking about the first one gets you result. Talking about the second one gets you confusion. So be with people who talk about financial freedom. Be with people who talk about confidence. Be with people who talk about contribution to the society. Be with people who talk about how to spend more quality time with their family. Be, be with people who inspire you to become a better father, a better parent, a better brother, a better son, a better community builder, a better citizen. 
and that's how you change everything. If you know my story, you know I did not start with all that, no. I did not have the right people around me for which I was not a successful person for a long time in my life. But when I changed that and when I started taking the right action for myself, when I started investing in my dream, investing in my success, when I started to build powerful team around me, everything started to change and transform for the better. Today I have great time freedom. Um, I've achieved my financial freedom. I contribute on a regular basis. I have great clients I work with. I have a few amazing friends. Good relationship with the family. You know, everything can be improved for sure. And you can improve that for sure. So I encourage you to trim yourself to, so that you can look amazing, feel amazing, and people come to you to take pictures with you. And it's gonna be amazing for you, man. This world belongs to you because you belong to the world. And I encourage you to give yourself the love, right? The problem is not that you don't have the right people, is that you're not giving yourself enough love. You're not giving yourself enough self-love for which you're not hanging out with the right people. Because if you just give yourself enough love and give yourself the priority, you know deep inside your heart, you will hang out with better people. You will take better care of yourself. You will take better care of your body. You will take better care of your mind. You will take better care of your spirit. You will meditate. You will run. You will write down. You will listen. You will motivate yourself. You will inspire. You will empower. You will be an example, not a warning. I want to wish you all the best because someday I want to see you right here. My name is Bashar Sarkar, always reminding you that public speaking is not about perfection, it's all about connection. <laughs>